Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuruzreka Najwa. And today, I would like to explain to you guys about the aircraft system issues happen on Boeing 737 MAX. Okay, let's go. Let's start about the background of Boeing 737 MAX. The Boeing 737 MAX is a narrow body aircraft which is developed by the Boeing as the successor to the highly successful 737 Next Generation series. It was designed to improve fuel efficiency, enhance performance and advanced technology compared to the previous one, making it an attractive option for airlines seeking to modernize their fleet. The development of Boeing 737 MAX began in 2011 with the first delivery to the airline in May 2017. One of the key features that set the MAX apart was its new CFM International Leap 1B engines, which were more fuel efficient and environmentally friendly than previous engine models. This engine upgrade contributed significantly to the max improve operational efficiency and reduce fuel consumptions. It incorporates aerodynamic enhancement and state-of-the-art of avionics, making it a preferred choice for airlines seeking for modernizations. However, the max faced challenges due to MCS issues, leading to a global grounding after two fatal accidents. Boeing has since focused on addressing these issues through rigorous testing, software updates and pilot trainings aiming to restore trust and safety in the MAX series. Why is the current issues happen? Referring to the explanation just now, two major crashes of the Boeing 737 MAX airplane that happened in the late 2018 and early 2019. The cause of the crashes was traced back to a design flaw in the maneuvering characteristic augmentation system known as MCAS software on the airplanes. The MCAS was intended to enhance the aircraft handling characteristic, particularly during the high angle of attack flight scenarios. However, the investigations into the accident revealed that the MCAS malfunctioned due to the erroneous sensor data, leading to the uncommon nose down trim commands that the flight crew struggled to counteract. This failure of the MCAS to a functions as intended significantly contributed to the accident and led to the widespread of the Boeing design, certifications process and the safety protocols. The grounding of the entire of Boeing 737 MAX fleet by the aviation regulators worldwide was a direct consequence of these accidents and the identified MCAS issues. This Grounding disrupted airline operations, impacted to the passenger travel and raised questions about the oversight and accountability of the aircraft manufacturer, regulatory agency and airline operators. This made it very difficult for the pilot to control the airplanes and resulted in the fatalities in both crashes. This prompt a global grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX and raise ethical concern regarding to the transparency, accountability and the safety protocol within the aviation industry. In summary, to conclude the Boeing 737 MAX cases highlights the important ethical lessons for engineers and educators. It emphasizes that prioritizing safety over cost cutting and meeting the deadline is crucial. Boeing's actions, especially regarding to the MCS system, were ethically questionable as they fell short in the ensuring public safety and informing stakeholders about the significant design changes. The case also sheds light on the conflict of interest in regulatory processes within the aviation industry. Internal and external factors within the organizations can impede the engineer's ethical responsibilities, calling for attention from the industry leaders, regulators, and educators to prevent such issues in the future. These lessons are not new, but need continuous reinforcement among the engineering generations. That's all from me about the aircraft system issues happens on Boeing 737 MAX. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.